I'm the community activist for Revolution Arts, but I also conceived and developed the program for Firestarters. The pulse of this project has been about developing creative communities and really looking forward to seeing Galam Collective and how it's going to grow and develop different projects. Imran Mahmoud, as an independent practitioner, has a lot of initiative to support other voices. So, so that's a really beautiful thing. My role was really to produce the project and to bring the women together and then facilitate, I think, um, their writing, give them opportunities um, to produce new work and just to kind of increase that confidence so that we can actually be in the space we are today to be able to perform. It's been an amazing journey and I'm really, really excited to be here today uh, to be able to celebrate the creativity of Luton, of the writers that we have in our group. The kind of incentive for me being part of this project is that I want to enable others to have spaces um, to come together as women, which I think is even more important in this day and age when we have uh, Trump's rhetoric you know, impacting us on a mainstream level. So it's really important for me to be a part of this project for that reason. To the place of my origin, the source I once believed in, not one that exists in some distant place. It was a struggle to be born. The safety of the cocoon had to be abandoned. The journey had begun. The performance tonight was exhilarating. It's so different when you have an audience who's responding to you. Slipping out of the back door, cup of strong coffee clutched to her chest. Emmy inhaled. You see, I am somewhere else. I was meditating on time, but usually it's more mundane things. I close my eyes and glimpse at shadows. Scream cry of dolls, black-headed, common, great black-backed, herring, soaring on wind waves, living on sea stacks in the loneliness of the living ocean. Being a mentor has its challenging, but I absolutely love it. It's about passing your knowledge. So once you learn, it's about giving that to other people. I guess the American Embassy realised that the H at the end of my name isn't actually silent, it's Arabic. See, they split me open, like Moses did with the Red Sea, but they don't know that inside of me I hide parts of Exodus and parts of Surah 26, chapter 17. Sometimes in public spaces I speak my mother's tongue, not mine, my mother's, just to remind others that I am made of old furniture from my mum's house in Aden, wrapped in headscarves like my nan would when she was ready for war, like Ta'ali Amira, Wawad Haddiq, Ka'aran, other times. I catch myself in the shower trying to scrub off the smell of Bukhur just so I can fit in. Firestarters programme have been running for 15 months through our Creative People and Places programme funded by Arts Council. This is really about working with people who wouldn't necessarily view themselves as artists and actually presenting work. Um, today it's poetry and live performance and saying that everybody has a story to tell. Everyone can be creative. Life, she has no place on this planet. Alienated, she feels lost, alone. The training that we received was very useful. Uh, there was always good advice given. Working with people like myself, we were able to give each other advice, listen to each other, so there was a lot of support. This is certainly one of the best that I've ever seen. Such a diverse group of very talented women. It's a unique group of women. Taking three sips from the same place on the chalice, beyond the teething pains and the malice that comes with early marriage and early life. I'm a grown-up female. That's what, that's what. Look at me. Do I care if I look fancy, have a flair? It is very important to have events like this in Luton for everybody to get together, no matter you know, where they're coming from, what age, and uh, it was really, really empowering.